Hi, my name is Nick Tyser. I'm the maintenance manager here at Westover Oaks, and uh, we're actually here on property. I'm gonna talk with you about uh, some golf cart uh, information that everybody should know. Uh, for example, if you're a make ready and you get assigned a golf cart, uh, it's pretty important that you keep your golf cart in good operating condition at all times. It's a pretty expensive piece of machinery that Ventura provides us with. Um, so you wanna make sure that it's working as good as it can. Um, every single week, we should be doing a golf cart PM and there's a few little things on there that are important you want to make sure obviously that the appearance of your cart is up to date at all times you don't want to be driving around property showing off a dirty or uh, cluttered golf cart you want it to be organized and uh, functional at all times um, one of the primary things that we have to make sure that we keep track of is the batteries and the uh, charging system on your golf cart so in case you haven't already learned your golf cart's equipped with some batteries and each of these connections needs to be clean at all times and what I like to use is CRC has a battery cleaner which will let you know it'll change colors to a yellow um, if it's uh, containing acid and it'll help neutralize any acid that kind of seeps into your cables which is real common with lead acid batteries then once you know that it's all completely clean you're gonna coat all of them with your battery terminal cleaner I mean protector and this basically is going to protect the surfaces from any leaching of the acid going forward. And you wanna do this on a weekly basis just to ensure that it's working properly at all times. And so what you're also gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to pop each of these lids off and I would advise that you wear your gloves because it is acid and it can burn you. And you wanna also make sure that you have eyewear to protect your eyes in case there's any kind of splashback. Um, Anytime your battery level gets low, the water level gets low, you want to add specifically distilled water because you do not want to introduce any kind of uh, minerals or anything into that system. It needs to be completely distilled, pure H2O, so that the acid can do its job, creating juice for your battery to move your cart. Um, you want to make sure that you also don't accumulate any kind of leaves. Obviously, you get a lot of wind, you get rain. Uh, a lot of times these things are out in the weather. Those things can gather in there and create all kinds of funk that can cause uh, conductivity issues. Uh, you can get corrosion. You can get all sorts of things. You want to just make sure that you blow it out, clean it out, and keep it clean and presentable at all times so that it can function properly. Now, on my golf cart, what I like to do is I like to always make sure that I have the things that I need for any general day. Uh, for safety reasons, obviously, you want to make sure you always have your respirator on you, whether it's on the cart or on your person at all times so that you have it ready to use. Uh, your gloves. Uh, I like to keep a fire extinguisher because when you're on property, I can't tell you how many times somebody's run up to me and said, there's a fire in the dumpster. Well, you want to make sure you have something that you can take care of that. Or if you're working on something, uh, maybe you got your torches out and you're working on AC, you're going to probably need that just to make sure that you don't cause a fire. Um, next, I like to hang and keep these uh, door hangers with me. So when I run tickets, I can always let residents know when they're not home that I'm in their apartment so there's no surprises. Uh, make sure if your golf cart's equipped with lights that the lights are always working so that if you're working on a call at night your lights come on you want to keep track of your tire pressure all the time you want to make sure that your tires aren't going to be overworn you don't want to be replacing tires all the time so if you keep them at proper pressure it's about 28 or uh, 28 uh, pounds um, they should be fine uh, keep track of that as well i always keep booties available so that when you're going into apartments, you always have booties. Even when you're going into vacant units, you wanna make sure you're wearing booties. If you haven't treated or cleaned the apartment, because you never know what's kind of hanging around in those apartments. Uh, I keep my shield always on the cart for running tickets as well. I have a ladder mounted to my cart because sometimes it's just uh, hard to figure out where a ladder's at. So I know it's always ready when I need it on my cart. Um, in this case, I just have a simple strap here and I mounted some very simple brackets from Lowe's that just hold it perfectly and cradle it on there. Now, the organization of your cart is really important. What you want to make sure is that, like I said, you always have all the things that you need for your day's work. If you're running make readies, if you're doing tickets, make sure that your cart is equipped with all the things that you're going to need in that case. Um, now, you're not always going to know what you're going to need on tickets, so obviously you can load it as you need, so you have this lovely space. Um, you're going to want to carry your tools. In my case, I just keep my tools in here all the time, so I bought this to lock, and it basically just locks up, and I can keep everything that I need in here. Um, I try to keep it organized, so I've got my tools itself sit in this little area, so any general tools that I might need, my meter, of course, uh, got a hammer, uh, in case of emergencies, I got a sprinkler stop. Um, I keep plumber's grease, you know, just the common things that you might need. Then I have 
uh, all my AC stuff, whether you're running make readies or you're doing tickets, you're gonna have PMs you gotta do for your HVAC. So you wanna make sure that you have things that you're gonna have if you find anything wrong on hand all the time. So I keep common capacitors, uh, uh, preventive maintenance items, uh, some things for stop leak. Obviously, I always need stop leak. You never know. I also always keep my handy slide rule because you never know when you need to consult that when you're having some troubleshooting issues. Um, I keep general. I don't really mess around with drills too much. I prefer a driver, so I keep, keep a driver. Keep a flashlight, extra gloves, extra booties. Then I have aerosol sort, sort of things. So. You always want to make sure you have some sort of loops. We have garage doors, so I keep these around. We have all sorts of, you know, things, you know, locks, latches, need lube, dry lube, I prefer, because it's not messy. I keep this for any electrical parts. Sometimes contactors get dirty. Ants are uh, uh, not a friend of electronic devices, so this helps get rid of the ants and clean the contacts. Any kind of touch up paint, gotta have white paint. I use this coil cleaner on my inside units. It works really good and it's non-corrosive. And of course, whether you're doing tickets or make readies, you want to make sure you have these two items. You need to be able to test your smoke detectors, not just push buttons. You want to make sure they actually work in a real world environment. So smoke in a can works excellent for that, for this one. And you want to have air dust cleaner so that you can blow out any you know, sprinkler heads or uh, sometimes you in your air filter tracks. They're really dusty. You might want to just blow that out. A brush helps too. And then I just have random painting supplies and tools, you know, little little stuff. You never know when you need a can of kills, paint brushes and whatnot. So those are the things that are always in my cart. Um, if I need anything else, I can just add it in here. Uh, go to the, car, uh, the shop and pick it up. Um, another thing I like to keep in my cart at all times uh, is I always have a can of Sanicare TBX. And we've got stocks of this in our shop. So whenever my bottle goes bad, I just swap it out for a new one. Uh, and this is really important. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and you never know what you're gonna encounter out there. And this stuff will kill pretty much any virus, any bacteria, any fungi, uh, any molds on contact. It's a wonderful uh, thing from Buckeye. Um, ideally, this is the best thing to use when you're coming in and out of apartments because your hands, your tools are gonna be touching all sorts of foreign things that you don't have control of. And the best thing that you can do is just sanitize them. Have them, have them done disinfected before you go to use them again. So come out to the cart and I'll just spray down my tools. Um, other thing, every single make ready, and of course we have a, a monthly um, last treatment we do for our office and common areas. Um, I like to use this pressurized spray bottle because it makes a fine mist. If you look, hand pump, it's real easy, but it creates a really nice mist for coating and it gives me a really good even coat. You always want to make sure that you have your SDS labels on all of your uh, non-original OEM uh, bottles, just so that anybody knows what exactly is in here at all times and if it's bad for you. Um, along with this, obviously, anytime you're spraying last, you want to make sure you're wearing a respirator. You want to make sure that you have gloves on because you don't want to be touching and dealing with all this. Of course, goggles help. I wear glasses, but I have a face shield as well that I put over so I don't get any of this stuff directly in my eyes or my orifices. Let's go ahead and just spray down my cart right now, just so you can see exactly how this works. You wanna make sure you have it at a good high pressure and you literally can just spray it, mist everything. So every surface that I would generally touch, I will just mist. Touch my toolbox often, I touch here. My ladder obviously gets touched regularly, things fall on it. My handle, seat. Same thing here, handles. Steering wheel gets lots of hand. And there you go. And that's really all you need to do to take care of your golf cart. Um, the most important thing, again, I can't stress it enough, is organization. And you wanna make sure that it's in tip top shape so you can always have it ready to go. These things are very expensive to repair. And the best thing you can do to prevent that expense is to just take care of them.